outside the world, basically since it's, I think is really shocked that the player used the word Negro and tends to take that note of contrition or apologies is offered whatsoever. I would have thought that if you pronounce a word properly, you maybe understand it better. I think it was Spanish he was speaking, and I don't think you spoke in Spanish there. So, well, I think if you get into a, uh, ask a linguistic expert, it certainly am them, he'll tell you that the part of the country in Uruguay where he comes from is perfectly acceptable. His wife calls him that. And I don't think he's falling out of the We have made a statement, and I think the statement, statement is there for everybody to read. Louise has made an, a brilliant statement, and we'll stand by him. If you, if you yeah, yeah, the there's a lot of things we'd like to say, and there's a lot of things we, can, we, we could say, but we'd only get ourselves in trouble. We no try to be evasive we'll try it. well we're being evasive because we don't want to get ourselves in trouble yeah. we know we know what is going on we know what's not in, in the report and that's important for us so without me getting myself in trouble I think that's it finished yeah, the time, <laughs> the next two games, so why not play we could have played for a fortnight I was going to serve eight games at some stage. This time's as good as any, isn't it? I think it was better to get the situation over and done with and leave it there. Paul Morrison was saying on the radio, they've got a fear now whether Suarez might feel a little bit unsettled playing in England. Is that a concern for you? Because Matt Lawson said it, no. So I don't, I don't see why we have to reply to anybody. I mean, if, if you're asking me if I have a concern about Louise playing in England, no. I don't have a problem with Louise playing in England. <coughs> see, if one of your, see if one of your guys was in trouble, would you help him? Would you support him? If you knew it was the truth and you knew it was right, would you, would you support him, Sean? Right. Well, they are. Right, well, you know, if, if they want to show their support for their, for their teammate, what's wrong with that? I think it's a, I think it's a fabulous uh, uh, statement to make, visually, of their support for a guy who's endeared in the dressing room, who one of the closest friends in the dressing room, uh, or all his friends in the dressing room could speak up adequately and perfectly well for him. And I think it's very dangerous. And it, I think it's unfortunate that you don't actually know the whole content of what went on at, at the, the hearing. And I'm no prepared, and I certainly can't say it, I'm just saying it's really unfortunate that you never got to hear it. That's all I'm saying. We can't go any further. It's up to the club to decide what they want to do. It seems to me that if there's something else to say, you need to say it because at the moment you're just digging a bigger hole for yourselves. No, I don't think I don't think we're digging a bigger hole. As I say, it's unfortunate that we can't be more forthcoming. That's the unfortunate thing. You've already, but you, you've already, you're basically in two statements. You've basically accused the FA of almost a conspiracy. How, how much further? Gone pretty far already. So they, so they have made a good statement then. They have Chaps, made a statement then.
Might be the wrong place, wrong time. Could have been anybody. I can't answer for the FA, you ask them. <coughs> you think they don't agenda? No. You said that, I never. So you get oh you get yourself in trouble, Matt. I'll, I'm alright. Are you concerned that if this first game back could be what happened? Could be that potential. Or is it maybe second game, but are you concerned about that? I'm just be delighted to get him back. 